Today on Side Guys, Boo Bubbles. Welcome to another episode of the Psy Guys. I'm Mark, and on today's episode, we're going to be making boo bubbles with dry ice. And I'm Ryan. Dry ice is the solid state of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide will freeze at temperatures below minus 78 degrees Celsius. For this experiment, we're going to need a pop bottle, rubber tubing, a funnel, a small bowl, a little bit of dish soap, and a whole bunch of dry ice. The safety equipment we're going to need for this experiment include an apron or lab coat to protect from spills and splashes, and a thick pair of gloves for handling the dry ice. You should never pick it up with your bare hands as it can cause frostbite within seconds. The first step in our experiment is to take your funnel and your rubber tubing and place your rubber tubing either inside or over top of the small end of the funnel. The second step is to take your dish soap and pour it into your small bowl. For our third step, we're going to take our bottle and fill it up about half full with hot water. At that point, we're ready to put in about five or six pieces of dry ice. The final step is to dip the rubber tubing into the dish soap, then press the funnel tightly over top of the two liter bottle. This forces the carbon dioxide gas through the tubing, creating smoky CO2 bubbles. You can also do this with a smaller pot bottle to make a portable smoky bubble blower. Let's look at this experiment a little closer. Dry ice is frozen carbon dioxide. To freeze CO2 into a solid state, it needs to be cooled below negative 78.5 degrees Celsius. When we drop pieces of dry ice into our 2 liter soda bottle that contains hot water, we are quickly heating the solid carbon dioxide. Warming up our dry ice forces it to change state from a solid to a gas. The warmer the water, the faster this process will occur. The bubbles that are produced in our 2 liter bottle contain the escaping carbon dioxide gases. This process happens at such a rapid rate that the airspace in our bottle is quickly filled with CO2 gas, which quickly produces a greater volume of gas than the bottle can contain, so the gas shoots out the top of our bottle. When we place the funnel over top of our bottle, the smoke builds up inside the bottle, causing an increase in pressure. This increased pressure builds up and forces the carbon dioxide gas through our rubber tubing, which then presses against the seal of dish soap coating one end of our rubber tubing, producing smoky bubbles. The bubbles will pop if they come in contact with dirt or oils, so to get them to land without popping, rub a little bit of dish soap over the surface of your plate. This creates an oil and dirt free surface, which is perfect for your bubbles to land on. Well, that's it for Boo Bubbles. Thanks for watching. And if you like this episode, let us know in the comments below and subscribe for future updates. Also, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you have any questions related to this experiment or about science in general, feel free to message us in the comments below or on Facebook and we'll try to help you out as best possible. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. That's so cool. Yeah. Bubbles. Bubbles! Here at Sci Guys, we're always curious how experiments turn out. So if you do these experiments at home, record them and submit them to us as a video reply to this video. But remember, always get your parents' permission before you submit any videos to YouTube.